You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, it's time for our weekly prediction edition. Brad and Ned are going to be doing some blackmail, and Lulu's donor is found. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. I've got predictions for Brad and Portia, for Dante, for Ned and Drew, for Cody and Lulu, and for Liz and Lucky. And as always, our predictions are based on recent episodes, brand new official ABC soap opera spoilers, and recent promos. Let's dive right in with our first prediction. Brad blackmails Portia to shut up, go away, and give him good job reviews. So on Friday, after Liz asked Brad to look into the subpoena that they got, obviously from Rick Lansing, Brad figured out really quickly that Portia tampered with that test. I would suspect, like with any hospital, any medical facility, you have to log in with your credentials to access things. So I'm guessing she logged in, tinkered with the test, and didn't think anybody would even question it. And then Rick has figured it out because of the independent lab stuff. So on Monday, October 14th, the spoilers say Brad makes a bold move. And in the promo for Monday, he's talking to someone saying, I may have found something interesting. So he may be talking to Liz, who asked him to look into it. He could be talking to Terry, who gave him the job. Or he could be talking to Portia, who has been riding his butt and being pretty obnoxious. And I can totally see Brad showing Portia proof of what he found and telling her, you know, I can report this as an anomaly, just a minor lab error, or outright tampering with proof that it was Dr. Robinson that manipulated the test because it was done with her log on. And of course, we all understand Portia wants to protect Trina, but she violated her oath as a doctor, and she has also been pretty awful to Brad because she's paranoid about getting caught at her test tampering. Portia kind of needs a reality check, I feel like, and Brad might be the one to write it for her. Not turning her in could get him some peace on the job, and he and Portia do share common ground that neither wants Heather out of prison. Our second prediction, Dante suspended from the PCPD and faces firing. So on Friday, Dex told Dante the ballistics test proved that the river gun did not kill Kate's, but then Dex found out Anna wanted to keep it a secret for various reasons, and he swore Dante to secrecy, and he immediately said, yeah, yeah, no problem. But then Dante found out that part of the reason Anna is keeping it secret is because Sonny is coming in to talk to her and the FBI, and he realizes what is happening and that if Sonny knew the ballistics test had cleared Alexis, he wouldn't be doing any of that. So on Friday, Dante talked to Cody and Cody told him, you know, you may have to decide between your badge and your family. So on Monday, October 14th, spoilers have Dante rushing into the PCPD. He started it on Friday. It's going to continue and wants to stop Sonny from walking into that meeting with the FBI without knowing that information. And it is standard practice where the police don't tell perp- you know, possible perpetrators that they have certain information. Now, during a trial, during discovery, they have to turn over everything. But during the interrogation phase, they can hold back information. And Martin is there also raging about Anna keeping the info from him on Monday. So maybe Dante alerted him as well. Either way, whether Dante only told Martin or if he tells Martin and then he tells Sonny, you know, Dante is protecting his dad when he knows Sonny killed a federal agent. And yes, Cates was absolutely awful. He was plotting to murder Ava to take down Sonny. So he was a pile of garbage. That's not even debatable. But Dante is in this tough spot because if he does speak up, he is in fact betraying his badge, no matter anybody's opinion on Jagger and he could lose his job over it. Our third prediction, Ned blackmails Drew to tell, to make him the CEO of ELQ or else he will reveal that dirty secret. 
So a couple of weeks ago, little James told Ned about Willow and Drew kissing. So it's just been a question of when will Ned do something with this info and what exactly will he do? Tuesday, October 15th, spoilers say Ned has a proposition for Drew. Ned wants to be CEO of ELQ again. He wants them to get Valentine out. Drew put Curtis in as CEO of Aurora to leave Michael free to run ELQ. So they were already having a debate about that a couple of weeks ago, the same day when Ned got this juicy info. I don't think Ned wants to go tell Michael knowing that it would absolutely crush him and ruin his marriage. However, I do think Ned will use it against Drew so he can protect Michael and get what he wants. And I have no doubt he is going to berate Drew for betraying Drew's nephew, taking advantage of Willow, all kinds of stuff. Ned is absolutely ruthless enough to use this to get what he wants, but I still think he's going to try and protect Michael. Our fourth prediction, Cody is a match for Lulu. So lots of people on Friday were talking about getting tested. One of them was Cody. And I was glad to hear them mention that Ethan also got tested because that meant they remembered Lulu had another brother. And on Wednesday, October 16th, spoilers say Tracy has words with Cody. The next day, Thursday, the 17th, Sam and Dante are relieved and Tracy offers Cody assistance while Sasha gets life-changing news. And on Friday, October 18th, Liz updates Lucky and Tracy and Laura talk about the past. So those are the spoilers. And this made me think that Cody may be a match for Lulu. Just from these spoilers, I feel like it might go that way. Like Tracy thanks him for getting tested because she does love Lulu so much. Sam and Dante being relieved could be about Lulu finally having a donor match. Tracy offering Cody assistance could be about letting him take time off to recover without worrying about getting a paycheck and having a place to live. And it might be life altering for Sasha because her boyfriend would have this major surgery. Liz Lucky's chat could be about the donor and so could Tracy and Laura's talk. We'll see how it goes. Sasha, despite the life-changing thing, should not be eligible to be a donor because of her past drug use and her medical history of heart attack. And I still don't know if Cody is the donor. I don't know if it's he's going to wind up being the one to donate. Something may shift. We'll see how it goes. But since he is so close to Dante, I think that would be a really sweet story. Our fifth and final prediction, Liz is upset when she finds out Lucky wants to run away again. Last week, Lucky's reaction to not being able to donate part of his liver to Lulu was to trash Bobby's diner and then try and run out of town yet again after bumming money from Jason with no thought for his mom, his sister, or his son Aiden and how they would feel about him running. Monday, October 14th, spoilers have Liz talking to Terry about Lucky. And on Friday, October 18th, Liz updates Lucky. So I just wonder in the interim, if she's going to find out from Jason that Lucky was planning to run away without a goodbye, or maybe Lucky will confess it. You know, they're giving these hints that they might try to, the writers might try to reunite Liz and Lucky, but I think he would have to make a whole lot of big changes to fit into her life. Even if Liz did want him back, absolutely her son's happiness would be the priority. And if there's any chance Lucky is going to let Aiden down again, I think that would be an absolute deal breaker. It's hard to imagine also what Lucky will do if he stays. Go back to being a cop, work for Brennan. I mean, we know he's staying. So we'll see. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 